Hey guys, Justin Bryant here, and I'm going to share with you some updates that came out very recently and some Instagram news on monetization and what you can do here in the coming months for directly making money on Instagram from your profile. So starting in June 2020, you'll be able to do direct monetization on Instagram Live. So you can have fans purchase 99 cent, $1.99, or $4.99 badges that can be kind of like YouTube Super Chat, where they kind of make the comment that they make stand out as the fan, and then you're more likely to have the uh, content creator answer their question or see their comment. And also, you're supporting the content creator directly on Instagram instead of having to direct message them whether they have a PayPal or not or Venmo or something. And this way, you're kind of directly supporting the uh, Instagram creator that you follow. Another thing that starts in June 2020 is they're going to have Instagram video monetization kind of like YouTube. They're going to share at least 55% of revenue with the content creator. So if you're someone who has an Instagram account, you might want to start getting good at making videos if you're not already because you can start having ads of up to 15 seconds long on your videos. There's a few companies that have already signed up like Puma, Sephora, Ikea, those types of companies. So if you're in the space of say athletics or makeup tutorials or you know interior design or something like that those are some companies that might interest you that are going to be running ads soon this is going to roll out with select creators first and then it'll roll out to everyone in the u.s as well as people in brazil the uk germany france italy turkey spain and mexico there are also a few instagram influencers that are going to be able to do this first so starting in the beginning of june you might want to follow people like charlie atkins who does fitness related uh content you have people like uh hayley sani you have people like salas rose and then you have avani so these are a few uh influencers that are supposed to be able to use these new uh, ad monetization settings as well as the live uh, badges and stuff if they do Instagram live. So you might follow them or at least just check up on them every once in a while to see what it looks like before you uh, make a decision on whether you want to pursue it yourself. Another thing Instagram is supposed to do soon in the next few months, so a little bit after all this, uh, the ads and the badges come out for Instagram is they're supposed to allow you to be able to tag products that you are promoting like as an affiliate or as a sponsorship directly on Instagram and tag the products that are in your photos. So that's coming out and then they're also supposed to after that expand to allowing you to sell your own products directly on Instagram. So they're trying to come up with a lot of ways for you to monetize your profile. Also, they're supposed to roll out something maybe towards the end of the year that is called a brand collabs manager, which is a way for you to actually use Instagram to collaborate with sponsors who might want to put ads or maybe send you some products to include in your next few images or videos in exchange for payment. So it's like a marketplace where you connect with sponsors, basically. So it's kind of similar to like ifluence.com. So it could be, you know, competing directly with companies that have actually built a brand around uh, helping people find sponsors on separate websites. So, you know, you would be an influencer and then you would help, you know, connect with a brand like say, you know, Nike or whatever. So still right now, you might want to use sites like iFluence. You might want to uh, still have your own thing going as far as the way it works right now, as far as sponsorships work right now. You still want to do, do it your own way and have your own kind of private collaborations. This is merely supposed to be like a side hustle type thing right now. It probably won't completely replace the way sponsorships work presently. So... As far as uh, another thing you might need for your Instagram profile, you might want to have a link to your website where you have something that's called a media kit. You can create a media kit for free or use a free template at canva.com. It'll look something like this where you'll have you know, a, your name, 
and what you do, what your niche is, you know, some ways to contact you, maybe some pricing for sponsored posts on your profile, and maybe some uh, information about your numbers as far as how many comments you usually get, likes, things like that on your profile. So again, canva.com is a free way for you to have all sorts of access to templates for different types of media kits like this. And you want to have your own website for that and have a link to it in your Instagram profile if you're trying to become an influencer either way. Also, Instagram is, of course, owned by Facebook. So you might want to check the Facebook content monetization policies. Obviously, they started letting people monetize their content directly on Facebook using things like Facebook video to kind of compete with YouTube. And now they're probably going to have very similar policies for Instagram because they obviously own them. So if you go to facebook.com slash business and look for content monetization policies, you can kind of get a good idea of what they're going to expect for um, the monetization to work and for you to be eligible. So hopefully this was helpful. I just wanted to update you on the latest news for Instagram monetization. I do videos on making money on Instagram, and I know a lot of you are interested in this. So hopefully this was helpful. And I'll see you in the next video.